Greetings everyone, Joe Davis here from Southern New Hampshire University, CJ 104. Milestone 3, we're in Module 6, Week 6, and time to work on the final of the three milestone projects for your final project. Okay, here's what the prompt is going to ask you, or is asking you to do. And what I'm suggesting is review the prompt and the source materials provided in the final project guidelines and rubric document. It, it can only take you a couple of minutes to reread that case study. I, I mention it because several other of you are adding your own facts to the case study. Um, just stick with what's in the case study. Okay, it'll it'll make it'll make it easier on you to write a, an excellent paper. Okay, then in a short paper, consider the roles and responsibilities of leadership as it relates to the Kansas City, Kansas Police Department score unit. Okay. So if you've read chapter 9 and you read the article, Gonzalez's article on leadership, and you read the Time 2002 Persons of the Year Award, and you've read the overview that's in there, uh, probably you've worked on your discussion board question, you've read what some other people have to say, you should be prepared to look at this and then say, okay, I need to consider the roles and responsibilities of leadership as it relates to the Kansas City, Kansas Police Department. and in particular the SCORE unit. Okay, so w what this is about, as with, as with the others, is the development of your critical thinking skills. You need to look beyond the story. You're not going to retell me the story in this. You're going to tell me the facts in the story to help you with your critical thinking skills, your analysis of it. What you're going to write about are going to be the concepts that are in Chapter 9, the concepts that are in Gonzalez's article, those kinds of things, okay? The, uh, think about each part of the prompt and relate it to the material in the text articles and your personal and professional experiences, which is what I just said. Think about the people that you have worked for or around that you consider to be great leaders. What did they do? And I think you'll find them in all this material. And again, I'm emphasizing read chapter 9. It's an easy read. Uh, it's got the concepts for this paper. Okay. I'm going to walk you through some of that <clears throat> because I know some of you don't always get a chance to read the, the chapter. But on page 126, there is a discussion of what Lockheed Martin, eth uh, what their ethical program looks like. So that gives you some ideas of the things that you want to achieve, which would also perhaps tell you the things that are missing in the Kansas City, Kansas Police Department score unit. Okay, On page 127, there's discussions of lo that loyalty is not a virtue. Loyalty, if we go back to the Persons of 2002 article, if we look at this, the basic case study of SCORE, in this case, loyalty was not a good thing. Okay, and so the United, then there's discussion about the United States Naval Academy uh, takes their uh, midshipmen uh, to the Holocaust Museum in Washington, D.C. Here in California, the Post Peace Officer Standing Training Commission um, have funding to send officers to the Museum of Tolerance where we can uh, walk through, anyone can go, the Simon Wiesenthal Center, and you can walk through and see um, the, the biggest name is what the Nazis did by scapegoating and blaming Jews and, and all those sorts of things. But everybody went along with it. Nobody said, oh, we can't be building ovens to kill people. We can't be gassing people. Everybody says, oh, okay, okay. And I know I've mentioned this before, Stanley Milgram's experiments. It's in the week four announcements. I, I know you're busy. We all are. 20 minutes to watch the Psychology of Evil tape by Dr. Zimbardo. And I, last time I'll mention it, I promise. But it is a classic example of exactly what we're talking about here. Okay, so then describe the role of leadership within the unit and within the department as it may relate to the specialized unit two separate sets of leaders, the SCORE unit and the department. What did leaders contribute to or try to discourage the behaviors? Where did they the system fail? If you look at Dr. Zimbardo's tape, the question becomes, are they rotten apples or is the barrel to blame? And he lays it out for you. I've, I've mentioned this before. Evaluate what could have been done more differently, uh, could have been done differently apologize for my grammatical error, uh, describe specific actions that could have made a difference 
and changed this outcome. Okay? Leaders are like heroes and heroines. They come in many sizes. This is from Gonzalez's article. Not everyone can be a leader. In fact, very few exist. You may have good managers, even good supervisors, but leaders, there's something special. You don't inherit this quality, delegate it, or have it handed to you. Neither do you have it by virtue of promotion or election. Keep your cards and letters coming. Let me know. We're down near the end. If anything I can do to help you.